Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've got a dream to share with you, and it's from a subscriber named Matt M., and he said he would like our help with this. Okay? Excuse me. He starts off saying, and this was 20 hours ago. Today is Saturday, July 25th, and it's 4.33. All right, so last night, I would guess, or night before, <clears throat> he had this dream. He said, I had a dream, oh, last week, he says, that if anyone could give insight to, I would appreciate it. I'm in a church fellowship hall, and it is full of long tables put end to end. I don't know how many rows or tables in a row. The time is 7.10, and a hymn song, a hymn singing, I guess he means, he put him sing, was to begin at 7. So they're a little late. Most of the people are sitting and visiting while eating. There are a few people standing up waiting for the singing to begin. I start to collect chairs for the singing and they are red in color. While doing this, I start to sing and others join me in singing. Someone comes up to me and tells me that the yellow chairs are to be used instead of the red chairs. I leave this task and go into a storage room. I look into the fellowship hall and the chairs are all set up now and people are sitting and holding the hymn books and singing. As they sing, the room begins to grow darker until it is completely dark. And they continue to sing as if to not notice the darkness. The light from the storage room does not spill into the fellowship hall. There is a dimmer switch light on the wall and I was going to turn it on until someone stops me. Then I realize I have to use the restroom urgently. The restroom is in the storage room. On the door is a deadbolt. Why do you, he puts in parentheses, why do you need a deadbolt on a bathroom door? Closed parentheses. I turn the lock and the bolt is just short of the hole in which it is to go into. I try several times to get it to work and I can't. There are two boys standing near the door of the bathroom, and I tell them that it is broke. Then I wake up. Thanks for your help in this. I'm not real sure what to make of that. I would have to pray on it. Um... I just, I, I'm not going to give my opinion on it right now. I hope that some of you that are good at dream interpretations can put a comment and help him figure this out. But my first clue, I will say this. Instead of their singing, lighting up, like with the Lord, you know how when... You're in a real anointed service. You feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. Well, if that was happening, wouldn't you think the room would get lighter? But if the songs were these like new agey kind of songs all about me, you know, I will receive the glory whatever i can't think of one right off but some of the new hill song 
Um, Lord, my memory's bad. I can't think of, I can't think of any of them right now. But um, I know Misty Edwards was in with the Church of Bethel, so I deleted all her music, and I really liked it. And I felt like it was good, but it was to draw in the youth, I guess. Maybe she was totally innocent in it. You know, that's possible. But she's famous for her music. So I don't know. I just didn't want to sing it if it had any bad connotations behind it or bad reasons for singing it I just I just loved her music but there's a lot of it that even the old timey music like I've got a I've got I've got a mansion just over the hilltop in that bright land where we'll never grow old well, you know, that's maybe encouraging to us, but that doesn't worship God. It's not a worship song. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe it was that kind of music. And it just grew darker and darker, spiritually darker. That's that's what came to my mind. But you leave your messages, why did he go to the bathroom and the bolt didn't work? I mean, what what was that all about? He seems to have enough detail. He remembers the chairs were red. They wanted yellow. Um, I believe he probably got this from the Lord. What do you think? All right. I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, and over uh, myself, my computer, and each and every single one of you and your devices and your internet connection. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.